Hello and welcome to the Katie Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here today is Dakota Poorman. Dakota, how are you? I'm wonderful, man. How are you? I am just fantastic. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. So why don't you start by uh, letting everyone know who you are and how you got started in uh, doing music? So my name is Dakota Portman. I am a singer songwriter from Maple Valley, Washington. And uh, I got my start pretty much when I was really young. Um, I've always been inclined to music. Music has always been a big part of my family and growing up and all my doings and stuff around around the yard and around school. Like I would listen to, to music all the time in school on the bus. And music has just been a very constant thing. And I got bullied a lot growing up. So music was a safe haven and I turned to the guitar and I realized that guitar was definitely something that I could gravitate mm -hmm. towards and just make myself happy by playing on it. And um, I never knew that it would lead me to where I'm at today. And I've always had a dream of just writing and recording my own music. And if people want to hear it, they want to hear it. And if they don't, it's mm -hmm. okay. It's just, it's for me and it's for the people that people that can relate to me and stuff. So um, I really appreciate you for having me on your show to talk about this stuff, man. But yeah, I got, I got started when I was about seven years old with music and then mm -hmm. gradually I, I was more of a sports kid. And then about 14, 15, I picked the guitar back up and it's just been ever since it's been an uphill battle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's very, very true. So what do you most enjoy about music? Is there a certain part of it that you most enjoy? The people, the, uh, the relationships that you build with them. Um, it's, it's crazy that you can think to yourself that if I write this one song, it could have the impact on one person or it could have the impact on a thousand people. You never know. And that's what I strive for when I write songs. It's like if, if it's, easy to be relatable then it's like you know the person already mm -hmm. um like i'm a very i'm a very outspoken truthful person and everybody that knows me knows that and i don't hold anything back and it's it's my songs that i write that are relatable to the folks around me and i just want them to know that hey you're not you're not alone I mean, there's other people out there that deal with hardships, they deal with struggles, and they like to have a good time, they like to party and all that stuff. So my music is definitely a roller coaster of emotions that I've felt growing up and what I've gone through. Um, so, but mainly I'm just a party happy guy and I, I want people to, to have fun, listen to the music and just have a good time. Definitely, definitely. So if you could choose one person that you could do a duet, collaboration with, who would you choose and why? I could pick any person to do a collab with and why. Ooh, that's a good one. I have, I, they, you're the first person to ask me this question. That's a good one. Oh, um, really? Wow. Yeah. So this is definitely a, a tough one. I, I'd have to say probably Keith Whitley. Keith Whitley would be because I, I I love Keith Whitley. Keith Whitley is, in my in my opinion, a goat. Just I mean, there's George Strait, but then there's Keith Whitley, and uh, man, uh, I would love to do a duet with him or 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 do a collab. Um, because I grew up on his music. My mom grew up on his music. My dad grew up on his music. Um, actually, my producer's wife is part of the Whitley family, so it's kind of kind of full circle moment and uh uh yeah keith whitley would definitely be my number one collab and i, I and i don't even really have a reason why it's just the fact that he's keith whitley and there's nothing more <laughs> that you had to explain about it other than he's a great he's a great songwriter a great guitar player and a great writer and um i know that he he faced his own demons we all face our own demons mm -hmm. and stuff but it's def definitely keith whitley If someone was to write a song about something that's happened in your life or something about you, what would they write about? Being a broke ass musician. <laughs> <laughs> they would, they, I mean, it's been done so many times, but I think some, if somebody were to write a song about my life, that would probably be a 13, 14, 15 minute long song. 
I've done some stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, just stating the facts here, you know, not every musician is rich. <laughs> just stating the facts. You got to be yeah. honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. That's just very, very true. You don't want people thinking that, you know, you're rich or anything. So, <laughs> uh, very good, right. very good answer. So, Dakota, what is some advice that you would like to give anybody that might want to start singing, performing, anything like that, but doesn't really know how to get their foot in the door? That's a good question. And uh, I'll just say this. Take the leap try it if it's not for you it's not for you it's okay no it, you don't have to beat yourself up over it but if it's something that you're very passionate about and something that you something that's going to make you happy just go around knock on uh knock on venue doors uh restaurants cafes uh any, just talk to people about saying do, would they be open to having an open mic um ask them if they do open mics just get up there just try it um i was 13 14 years old not knowing a clue about what i was doing up on stage other than the fact that i had a microphone and a guitar and i had people's attention and i i took that and i ran with it because i'm a very i'm i'm kind of quiet in a sense of when I'm at my own house, I'm, I'm kind of a hermit, but when I'm out and about, I'm a very mm -hmm. big people person. I'm, I, I love talking to people, meeting new people. Um, but it's, it's music is definitely a way to connect with humans on a more intellectual level because music isn't everything. I mean, the car horns, the beeps of your car alarm, the, the slamming of the door, the rain falling down it's all music in some form or another and putting words with set melodies is a way to bring everybody together and for someone starting out don't stop don't give up keep practicing um i mean i'm still i'm still learning i'm still growing as a as a musician as an artist as an entertainer and as a human as a person um never stop because as soon as you limit you as soon as you stop you limit yourself and that's when people are asked always ask me like who do you want to be like who do you i want to be me i don't because as soon as you set a bar you ask yourself and as, as us we never stop growing as human beings we never stop growing um and that's all that i want to uh convey to the one start now is just don't stop keep going don't let anybody tell you no and just strive to be the best of just be the best of the best of yourself that's true you don't really want to be anybody else because you're you for a reason yep I don't think I could have said it that any much better, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I've had, awesome. I've had a long time to sit and think about that. <laughs> That's very true. So why don't you tell us a little bit about any of your new singles, any upcoming projects you have, Dakota? Well, we got two, two uh, singles out right now. We have uh, one that was released last year called American Made. And we have a new single that's out right now. We released it April 20th and it's called Hippie at Heart. You guys can get that anywhere you guys get your music. Um, I wrote it in about 40 minutes in all transparency. I was high as a kite. Uh, I wrote that song from start to finish. How it's recorded on the record is exactly how I wrote it. Nothing's changed. And it's a super fun, catchy, summertime sing-along song um but we do have new music coming out and it drops mm -hmm. at the end of this month i believe um that's what i was told via the label we have another song that we're going to release uh it's called black sheep and then we're releasing the whole album which is called entitled black sheep so the record itself is 11 songs it's coming out in the next month or two 
I'm not sure yet, but I know it's during summertime. Um, but 11 songs coming at you, full in your face, high energy, and you guys can get that wherever you guys get your music. That is fantastic. So what are your hobbies? What do you like doing outside of music? What are my hobbies? I love food. I love food. <laughs> um, I, I like going up into the mountains and shoot my guns. I like going fishing. I like, I like uh, hunting. Uh, I like spending time with my family whenever I'm not playing. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's real hard to get away and, and make time. But I try, I try, I try, I try to make it happen. And uh, my other hobbies are just hanging out with friends and having a good time, man. That's about it. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite food? Oh man, don't do me like this. <laughs> I'll give you my. I'll give. I'll give. I'll give, I'll give you my top three. I, I, That's I like perfect. It. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Oh yeah. I, I, I can mount out on some chicken wings, chicken wings, mm -hmm. tacos, and sushi. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's awesome. So do you have a message to those who are your fans or anyone that might be listening or watching this, Dakota? Um, one, I love everybody. And thank you so much for allowing me to do this for a living and as a career. Because if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. Two, to everybody that's new, I really hope that this has opened your eyes as to who I am as a person, as I am, as also as a musician. Um, and selfless plug, if you haven't heard of the thing called Pickle Jar Live, download the app, follow me on there. You'll know why. It's, it's incredible. But thank you to everybody that listens to Caden uh, and for having me on the show. Um, I had a fun time, uh, but I love everybody. Thank you so much for supporting me in this this long haul of a career that I've had so far, about, about 10 years now. So I'm truly grateful. That's amazing. And um, I'll have to check out Pickle Jar Live. I've never heard of it, but I'm it's, now it's very pretty cool app, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool app. I'm writing this down. Pickle Jar Live. I've never heard of it before. Oh my god! Yeah, so it it it, it gives back. It gives it like as us as musicians, mm -hmm. like people tip us that we get to keep a hundred percent of the funds. We don't oh. have to like, share it with the bank or anything. So it's awesome. Oh wow! 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 Okay. Fans and musicians alike. Fans, they can look where their favorite artist mm -hmm. is going to be. They can find new independent artists venues that support pickle jar and all that stuff and you guys can you could tip them from not even leaving your couch if if they're in houston playing a show and you're like oh man i would really love to go but i want to still support you can go onto the app send them five bucks ten bucks twelve bucks however much you want and it's it's a really cool way to stay like interactive with fans and stuff and musicians that is so cool whoever made that app is just genius that's awesome they are a great company <laughs> For sure, for sure. So also, where can people find you on social media if they want to keep up with you and your adventures, my friend? Facebook, at Dakota Porman Music, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, Bands in Town, Dakota Porman, uh, YouTube, Deezer, SoundCloud. I mean, dakotaporman.com, the website. Go get you guys. It's been a day already. I haven't had enough coffee yet. <laughs> Uh, go get yourself some merch at the store mm -hmm. and uh, just rep some swag, some DP swag. That's awesome. And is there anything that I forgot to mention that you would like to mention, my friend? Just how awesome that you are. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. That's... You're very welcome, Kim. That was not expected, You're very welcome, but I appreciate, I appreciate that. that. You. <laughs> I got I to leave people uh, on their toes, man. I appreciate that. And again, I would like to thank Dakota Portman for coming on the Katie Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We appreciate your time so much for being here. Thank you, Caden. Appreciate you, man.